Here are some questions from the previous test papers. I wish that you copy them, pause the video, try to answer them and then look into my suggestion. That way you will feel more prepared for your own test. In case of any difficulty, you can always write back to me or look into similar examples. I may give you some solutions at times. Now this question is a very first question, kind of communication question for you. It says, parabola represents a quadratic function, as you fairly well know. Now here we have a parabola. You need to label the parts of parabola and write its equation in standard form. Now do that and then look into my suggestions. As you see, labeling is kind of simple. This is the vertex and then we have y intercept. These are the x intercepts and we also call them zeros and this line is axis of symmetry. Now this parabola opens upwards and writing a vertex form equation is very easy. So let's actually write down vertex form equation and then later we can write it in standard form. So we know what the vertex is. So at this time, if you look at the graph, vertex is at the point which is 1 here and along the y-axis is minus 3. So vertex is at 1 minus 3. So we get the vertex. We can write y equals to a times x minus 1 whole square minus 3. Now to find the value of a, we need to look for a point which should be very clearly met. This y-intercept seems to be an excellent point. So you can see this y-intercept is at minus 2. That means at x equals to 0, we have minus 2 for y. So we can write minus 2 here and then find the value of a. So x is 0, minus 1 whole square, minus 3. Now we can reorganize. So we have a equals to minus 2 plus 3 equals to a since 1 square is just 1 so a equals to 1 for us so a is also 1 so this is a very simple equation which is y equals to x minus 1 whole square minus 3 since a is 1 well now here are some tips you could have also gone got the value of a from the graph that is the vertex correct if you move one step to the right the graph moves one step and for the next time, it moves three steps. You see that? One, two, and three. So definitely, A should have been expected as one, right? So you could have got the graph, the value of A from the graph directly also. Now the question is to write it in standard form. How do we do that? So we need to expand this. So we get Y equals two, just expand it. You get X squared minus two X plus one minus three and simplify it. Combining these terms, we get x squared minus 2x and that is minus 2. So y equals to x squared minus 2x minus 2 is the equation of this parabola in standard form. So that is how you can complete this question. And of course, you can write all these names here, right? So that is how you should do it. So by this question, we have kind of introduced you to how to find equation from a graph and how to convert vertex form into standard form. Well, this was a very simple example preparing you for the coming questions. Thank you and all the best.